Hi guys, today we're just going to revise over conduction, convection and radiation. So starting off with conduction. When a solid is heated, the atoms vibrate faster and the vibrations get passed along. So atoms, uh, if the in a solid they'll be just vibrating. When you heat them up, they start to vibrate more and they'll bump into their neighbours and that vibration gets passed along the solid. So this is how heat travels through a solid. Now, with metals, metals are very, very good conductors of uh, heat. The reason why is that they've got a cloud of free electrons around their atoms and the free electrons can also pass the heat along, but remember this is just for the metals only. So normally the atoms vibrate, the vibration gets passed along. When you heat it up, they vibrate more, then they'll bump along next to the neighbour and the heat gets passed along. But just metals, they have got this extra way of transferring heat in that they've got free electrons that can pass heat along. Okay, convection. Now convection only occurs in a fluid. And what do I mean by a fluid? Well, a fluid is either a liquid or a gas. The fluid will become heated and in doing so, they'll become less dense and rise up. When they've gone a certain distance up, they'll cool, become more dense and start to sink. And this creates a cycle called a convection current. Now a nice example of convection uh, is a lava lamp. Now a lava lamp works because in the, the base of a lava lamp there's a light bulb and that light bulb not only does it light up the, the liquid inside which is water and wax, it also acts as a heat source. So the wax at the bottom becomes less dense. Uh, then eventually it gets so hot and it becomes less, the density gets lower and lower and lower. Eventually it'll rise up here. So at the very top here, it's far away from the heat source and the wax is going to start to cool down. Therefore, the wax becomes denser and starts to sink. The wax goes back down to the bottom here and a convection current is set up. So the wax will just continually go up and down, up and down, heating at the bottom, becoming less dense, rising up, cooling down up here and then falling back down here as it becomes more dense. Next up, we're talking about thermal radiation. So thermal radiation is mainly infrared waves that are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now here are some properties of two different coloured materials. If you've got a material that's matte black, they are excellent emitters of thermal radiation, but poor reflectors. They're very good absorbers of thermal radiation as well. Silver coloured objects are very poor emitters of thermal radiation, they are excellent reflectors of infrared radiation and they're very poor absorbers of infrared radiation. The cooling cans experiment. Now if you've got three different cans, one silvered, one matte black and one white, if you all start them off at an initial temperature and let them cool down, you'll actually find that the black can will cool the fastest. And the reason why the black can will cool the quickest is because it gives off so much more thermal radiation than the white or the silver can. So this is an experiment that you can try very, very simply. Get a can and paint it black and then leave another one silvered. With two thermometers, you should be able to show that the black can will cool much quicker than a silver can. Now thermal radiation can travel through the vacuum of space. And thermal radiation is how we receive heat from the sun. Conduction and convection can't work in a vacuum because they require particles. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget. To subscribe. Goodbye, subscribes.